This is Calculus, Topic 6, Homework Problems 18 and 19. We want to find the area that's enclosed by the graph y equals e to the x and y equals 3 and the y-axis. To kind of give a um, sense of what we're ask, being asked for, let's go ahead and draw this. Well, y equals e to the x, that's an exponential function that has slow to rapid growth y equals 3 at the horizontal line. It looks like this. And the y-axis is here. So the area that we're looking for is this area trapped here. So we would need to find the x's. Well, the, the see the x here will be 0, but the x here is unknown. So let's put, let's solve for that. So that'll be e to the x set equal to 3 and solving for x for this one. Um, if I change this to a logarithm, this will be x equals log base e of 3, which is basically saying x equals the natural log of 3. Now, from there, we can go ahead and set up our integral. Our integral will be from 0 to the natural log of 3. The upper function will be 3. The lower function here will be e to the x dx. And now, let's see, find the area. And now we'll take the antiderivative of 3 with respect to x, and we get 3x. We take the antiderivative of e to the x, which is e to the x, so it remains negative e to the x. And we'll evaluate that from 0 to natural log of so everywhere we see an x, we're going to put in the natural log of 3 first. So this will be 3 natural log of 3 minus e to the natural log of 3. Then we'll put zeros in both places for x. So 0 here will give us 0, and 0 here will give us 1. So that's a negative 1, because e to the 0 power is 1. Now, this part here, e raised to the natural log of e, of the 3, should I say, that evaluates down to 3. So, what we'll have here is a 3 natural log of 3 minus 3 plus 1, because we have double negatives here. That will give us 3 natural log of 3 minus 2. Okay. All right, similar problem. This time we have a, we want the area that is enclosed by y equals e to the negative x and y equals 5 and the y axis. So to take a look at what this is going to look like, let's go ahead and graph e to the negative x. This is a rapid to slow decay. y equals 5, that's a horizontal line, and the y axis is here. And this is the area that we're looking for. OK. Now, we're bounded here by this x. We don't know what that is. But this boundary right here is 0. So to find out what that x is, we're going to set e to the negative x equal to 5 and solve where this um, intersection is. OK, first we're going to have, let's say, negative x equal to log base e of 5. Then we're going to transfer our negative to the other side and have x equals negative natural log of 5. The natural log represents um, log base e. OK, now let's go ahead and create our formula for the area. We have the integral from this x right here, which is negative natural log of 5 to 0. And the function will be See, the upper function will be 5 minus the lower function, e to the negative x, dx. OK. Now from here, the antiderivative of 5 with respect to x is 5x. The antiderivative of e to the negative x, we have to take the derivative of the negative x, we'll get negative 1. The reciprocal of negative 1 is, um, of negative 1, is negative 1. So negative 1 and the, and the negative there together make a positive e to the negative x. 
and then we'll evaluate this from natural negative natural log of 5 to 0 okay now putting the 0 here and here we get 0 for this and we get e to the 0 which is 1 minus let's see let's put negative natural log of 5 in here for this x and we'll get negative 5 natural log of 5 okay. all right and let's see oh we need to put this in here for this x so we'll get e double negatives which gives us positive natural log of 5 okay so this is just one this right here, double negatives, we'll get positive 5 natural log of 5. Here, we get a negative here. And all of this becomes 5, so minus 5. So my final answer will be 5 natural log of 5 minus 4.